Patagonia's finest! Patagonia's finest! Even when she has a poorly bandaged heart, she still holds up your feet with her love like a footstool. Kissing the ground too many times, her lips are withered. You say she is not beautiful. Putting on more chapstick and crawling back to her knees, you complaining about how your feet touched bare ground while she was gone. Apologies have been her way to make you happy, even if she feels like a weathered weed fighting through the floorboards just to take the burden of having to own up to your mistakes. No, nobody wants to be the criminal fighting through the bars just for approval, much like your lover's hands in the floorboards. But when are you going to see that the bullshit you left laying around didn't walk out the door by itself? Look at the girl you slaved four legs, because her arms just look funny, carrying a dustpan and a broom like she isn't ready to set them down anytime soon. Her joy is fulfilled by your joy. And you know that. You have shown that. When you were flying through the night sky on her shoulders and she began to crash up until you kept her going like a kitty ride by an inserting I love you just long enough before you got bored. I had once known her as the sky itself, as a human being, as my sister who gave too much for things worth loving. You are not going to be the reason she will never love again. But how do you tell a volunteer of subservience that she is an angel? And how to use her wings when all she remembers is the footprints? She deserves to be so much more than just another member of the catastrophes you left laying around after getting bored with. She deserves to fly without being entangled with your praise of making her an aesthetic goddess who never wanted that until she saw herself in the way you called her name. Girl, the lesson is not about how to live with him. The lesson is learning how to get over him. You don't need anyone's permission to stand upright and love your goddamn self. You can only give so much of yourself before you become the dust on his feet. I know you will, and I'll be here, and I'll never ask you to become another splintered smile because I love you. And I hope you don't forget what that means when trying to stand up after you've been kneeling for so long and remember the pain as it stiffens you.